Before we get started with analyzing the graphs of polynomial functions, we want to make sure that we know how to use our graphing calculator to assist us in finding relative maximum, relative minimum, and zeros of polynomial functions. So get your calculator out, and we're going to do a couple of guided examples to refresh our memory on how to do this. So go to y equals first, and let's type in the polynomial function x to the fourth power minus x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1. So make sure you have this polynomial and put it in your y1. And we don't know if we changed our window size previously or not. So a quick way to just put it on the negative 10 to 10 minimum maximum values is to hit zoom choose option six, which is Z standard, zoom standard. And if we take a look, I can see my polynomial function. Let's first find our zeros. If we take a look, remember zeros are x-intercepts. There's one, two, three, four zeros. So what we want to do is use our second trace, which is our calculate menu. We want to use our zero feature four times because there are four zeros. So let's hit enter. Our calculator is now asking us to mark a point to the left of one of our zeros, one of our x-intercepts. I'm going to choose the one on the far left first. I'm going to work left to right. And so I mark a point to the left of this x-intercept by hitting enter. And I'm going to mark a point to the right of it now, right bound. So I have to use my right cursor. I am to the right of it, so I'm going to hit enter. And then guess, just hit enter again. And so my first zero I have is negative 1.441291, so negative 1.44. So that's the first zero. We're going to have to do it again. So I'm going to hit second, calc, choose option two again. This time I'm going to use this zero. So I'm going to go over mark a point to the left of it and my to the left of it so i'm going to hit enter right bound go to the right of the zero hit enter and then guess hit enter again and so now i have my second zero let's do it again so second calc option two this is the third zero i want to go to the left of it so i'm going to move it up i'm to the left of that zero i'm going to hit enter Hit the right cursor so I can mark right bound. Enter. And there's my third zero, 0.485. And there's still one more left. So second, calc, zero. Left bound, I'm to the left of the zero here, so I'm going to hit enter. And then right bound, I'm to the right of the zero there, so I'm going to hit enter. And guess, and enter again. And there's your fourth zero, 2.52. So those are all of the zeros that we have. So that's how you do the zero. We, we learned that before when dealing with quadratics, so this is just a refresher. Now what we're gonna have to do now is find our relative minimum value or values and our relative maximum value. So if we take a look, relative minimums are your low points on the graph. So I have one here and one here, so I have to find both. To find your relative minimum, again, hit second trace, which is your calculate. We are going to want to choose option three, our minimum value. So we're going to hit enter on minimum. We're going to do it twice. So I'm going to have to take my cursor. Again, I go left to right. I'm going to work with this minimum first. Again, you're asked left bound. It's the same process. Pick a point to the left of that minimum value. So I'm going to hit enter. Now the calculator says right bound. So pick a point to the right of the minimum value. Hit enter. Guess, just hit enter again. And there's one of my minimum values, negative 1.09 and negative 1.05, that coordinate. And I'm going to repeat the process for this relative minimum value. So second, 
calc minimum. Again, left bound. So just mark a point to the left of this, hit enter. Right bound, mark a point to the right of it, hit enter. Guess, hit enter again. And there is the next relative minimum, negative, sorry, 1.84 and negative 7.31. So that's how we found our relative minimum. We see we have two low points, so we had to do it twice. I see I have a relative maximum, a high point. So I'm going to hit second calc to find your relative maximums. Here you choose option four. And again, left bound, right bound. So mark a point to the left of it. Hit enter. Mark a point to the right of it. Hit enter. And guess hit enter again. And so here's a little bit tricky to understand. Your calculator is not perfect. You look at this, you see negative 1.938e to the negative 6 for your x and 1 for your y. This number is 0 for us. This e means times 10 to the negative 6 power scientific notation. And so really this is negative 0.00001938. It's, your calculator is approximating it. We're going to use 0, 1 for that relative maximum point. And so the whole process on how to use your calculator is this idea of, one, anytime you want to find any coordinate, any point, any specific value on a graph, you go to your calculate menu. The zeros, the minimum, and the maximum feature all are the same. A left bound, a right bound, and a guess. So all three of these follow the same process. So it should be rather quick and easy to pick up. We have one more guide example for you to watch to assist with understanding the concepts.